Hello and good morning. Welcome to the hour show. This show today is about an amazing lady who does a beautiful work in Haiti. And her name is Lori Goldberg. How are you, Lori? I'm very well. Thank Honey, you, Wawa. Thank you. I am very honored to have you here with me today. And why don't you introduce yourself? Go ahead. You'll be better. Uh, my name is Lori <laughs> Goldberg, and I am the founder of Global Family Philanthropy. Yes. Uh, we are uh, a very small nonprofit working primarily in Haiti right now, yes. um, helping abandoned orphan children, yes. uh, giving them better life, and creating a family environment for them. Beautiful. Uh, when did you start it, your foundation? Oh gosh. Well, I've been traveling to Haiti for for several years now. Um, yes. My first trip was as a volunteer, mm -hmm. and it was an eye-opening experience for me. I really had no idea what life was really like outside of the the bubble you, that I lived in. Which was a beautiful bubble. Which exactly, <laughs> and I and I'm and yes. I'm very blessed. Yeah. Um, but on my first trip, a child was offered to me. Wow. Um, so many Haitians are so poor that they just want a better life yes. for their child or they're caring for an abandoned child. Yes. And it just made me realize that uh, there's so much more that, that I needed to do. Yep. So, so my dream was to have an orphanage. And wow. And we're building one now. And you're building yes. one now. Yes. Yes. And, and and you so you went to Haiti uh, to visit. Yes. What happened? What happened inside of you that made you just feel like, wow, this is this is for me. You know what happened is that that I saw how how truly beautiful the Haitian people are, mm -hmm. and they have so very little. Yes. And it's all about family and yes. love and and caring for your your neighbor and yes. and for other human beings. And it was a real eye opener. Yes. I mean, they're they're grateful for everything that they have, whether it's one meal a day yes. or you know, one doctor visit. Yes. <laughs> how, how how were the the kids because you work with kids mostly? Yes. How how were they? What did you read? On those faces? Pure love. Pure love. Love, uh, hope. Yes. They know when you're there that, that you are there to, yes. to be with them. Present. And, and to help them. Yes. Um, so many of the children in Haiti don't get to go to school, so you know, we've, we've worked on sending them to school so they can Yes. Receive an education and have hope for a better future. So when you say uh, poor, you mean lacking things. Exactly. Because it's very important. I'm it, from Africa, and I know a lot of people see Africans as poor. But what happened is when we are not present ourselves, we don't take from the gift the part that is for us. And looks like you had been present enough to not see just the lack of things, but yet what they had to offer. So much to offer. And, and you said it perfectly. I mean, they are so rich with, with love and, and the things that are important in life. What are the most beautiful things that those kids brought to your life? You know, the, the gift well, there's so much, mm -hmm. but I've been able to share the experience with my children. I have two daughters. I know. I watched them uh, the, on TV. Yes. They showed them when they were leaving for Haiti, and that was just amazing for me to watch. They're how old? Uh, nine and ten. Nine and ten. Nine and ten. And choosing to go on vacation to Haiti when they could have been anywhere else. But at that age, to be so aware of what they have right. and what they can give and what they can receive, that is amazing. Congratulations Thank for being you. that mom. Thank really. you. Really. And I have to say that that is probably the biggest gift because yes. we now have a, a much larger family. Yes. We have kids in Haiti, my yes. kids here, 
and um, I wish that I would have had that experience as a child. I mean, I'm, I'm glad that it happened so in okay. my life, but yes. uh, I just hope that more families come on board and share the experience with their children so we can all receive this gift yes. and have and have a really good life. That's a beautiful wish. That's a beautiful wish. Now, uh, what do those kids need from us? I know it is uh, everything. The, everything. <laughs> everything. Everything. Um, you know, in, in Haiti, it's about $150 a month to support a child with all of their basic living necessities. Yes. That means that they can live in our home, wow. uh, receive health care, clothing, three meals a day. That's not a lot. And go to school. It's not a lot. $150. It's not a lot. That's uh, less than yes. dinner in New York. Right? I know. I know. <laughs> I mean, it's just, um, this is why it's very important we talk about it in the sense where people know when you hear charity you feel like uh, we all feel like anything we have to do is we call it work right work that word is now coming out of everybody oh it's gonna be work it's gonna be work but no there's no such a thing no there there's there's not and on top of it when there is something for you to get to receive yes and I'm receiving so much. I know the you the too. gifts the gifts are so great and really it it doesn't require a lot to make no. a difference. No. Uh, giving a little uh, can really transform lives. Absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. There is no such a thing as little. Nothing is little. Exactly. A hi, a good morning, a bye, nothing uh -huh. is little. Absolutely. Just a little hi with awareness. Mm -hmm. When you put awareness to it, nothing is really too little. No. So what is your uh, wish, your deepest wish for those kids? Uh, 